All right, uh, last three problems. I wish I could have snuck these in, but oh well. So this says solve the radical expression by squaring both sides. Now, um, if it's not necessary to square both sides, we're not going to. So keep that in mind. So you see that square root? There's only really one way to get rid of that, and that's by squaring both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the 3. Remember our goal is to isolate the square root before we square it. So we get x minus 3 equals 2 square root of x. Now we have a decision to make. We can keep the 2 there and then square both sides, or we can divide both sides by 2 and then square both sides. I am not going to divide both sides by 2 because that would create fractions over here, and I don't want to make this messy. So I'm going to square this right now, but square all of this right now, all of it. This right here, again, don't you dare square that and square that alone. It's x minus 3 times x minus 3 equals 2 squared is 4, then the root flies off, x. Here I have to FOIL this, so x times x is x squared. Outside is negative 3x. Inside is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 equals 4x. Remember, when we're dealing with trinomials, we want to keep our squared term positive. So I'm just going to subtract 4x from both sides. Now I'm going to clean this whole mess up. So we get x squared, negative 3x, negative 3x is negative 6x, minus 4x is negative 10x, plus 9 equals 0. And wouldn't you know it, it's factorable. So, what are two factors of positive 9 that add up to negative 10? Minus 9, minus 1. So, x equals 9, or x equals 1. Don't you dare just put those down as your answers. you got to plug them back in. What's the square root of 9? 3. 3 times 2? 6. 6 plus 3 equals x, which is 9. 9 equals 9. This is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's plug this one in. What's the square root of 1? 1. What's 1 times 2? 2. What's 2 plus 3? 5. Does 5 equal 1? No. So that's gone. So my answer is 9. That's why you got to plug that stuff back in. This one over here, we're going to subtract 5, subtract 5. 2 square root of x equals 2. Now on the last one, I didn't divide by 2 because it would mess up this side. On this side, I'm definitely going to divide by 2 because it's going to really clean things up. And I get the square root of x equals 1. I mean, you could just look at it, but let's go ahead and follow through. x equals 1. Wait a minute. Plug it back in. What's the square root of 1? 1. What's 1 times 2? 2. 5 plus 2? 7. Does that equal 7? Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. There's our answer. Last one, you guys. So this one tells us to square both sides, but on this one, we're not going to. Subtract 5. Subtract 5. We get x squared of 2 equals 2. What am I trying to find? I'm trying to find x. Why would I square both sides? Just divide by the square root of 2. Gone. Divide by the square root of 2. Now we got to get the square root out of the denominator. So we get 2 square root of 2 over 2. These cancel. You end up with the square root of 2. And that's it. Good luck on your test.